Hello, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Many times nowadays, statues are created for incredible athletes who did an extraordinary job on their teams while they played for them, and because of that, their legacy can live on forever. With the way technology is advancing nowadays, you'd think that every new statue would look exactly like the person that they're trying to make. I mean, after all, even thousands of years ago, statues were being created in ancient Greece, and they looked just like the people they were intended to look like. For example, these two statues here that were made somewhere around 460 BC. Also, who can forget the statue of David that has every single muscle on his body literally chiseled to perfection. The intricate detail on the statue of David is just fantastic. If statues looked so good so long ago, why have statues started to look so bad? It's like all of a sudden, sculptors and artists decided, we forgot, we don't know what we're doing. I have no clue how to make a statue. I got a picture of the guy right here. I know exactly what he looks like. He's one of the most famous athletes of all time, but I got nothing. I still have no idea how to make his face look just like him. Over the last few years, and especially really recently, athletes have really been getting screwed over by the people who've been making their statues. Everyone remembers the Cristiano Ronaldo statue. It's been the subject of endless mockery since its unveiling at Madeira Airport more than a year ago. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a young Billy Graham. It doesn't look anything like him, I think. Ronaldo's family requested an improved version of the sculpture. The sculptor, seeing it as an opportunity to silence his critics, took on the challenge and, in a very low-key event, unveiled his second attempt at the Portuguese airport. It's had mixed reaction online. I'm gonna be honest, the new statue doesn't look like Ronaldo either. That statue looks like Cristiano Ronaldo if he got hit by a bus and half of his face was scrunched up. Or if he smelled something really bad, just like the worst smell he's ever smelled in his life and he was just trying to pretend he didn't smell it. Oh, I don't, I don't smell anything, no. I don't smell anything at all. Hello, I'm Cristiano Ronaldo. If you can speak with uh, my coaches, my friends, my teammates. Another athlete that was done dirty by the person who made their statue was 76ers legend Allen Iverson. Two, one, mama Trump. Mama Trump. This is so disrespectful, they can't even make a full-sized version? That's a large trophy, not a statue. Better off putting a Funko Pop outside to display. We talking about practice? The big thing for me is that why is Allen Iverson's statue so tiny? All he does is pat it on the head and then try to hide his disappointment. Let me know your thoughts about this whole thing. I want you to listen real close. You might have to come to your screen a little bit because it's kind of little. Y'all got all the people out there to see that. I know AI like, man, he, pat he patted it on the head. How you got a statue even smaller than Allen? And of course, we're seeing a whole lot of jokes Josiah said this was the Sixers. <laughs> <laughs> the main reason I'm making this video today though is Dwayne Wade's statue that was just unveiled not too long ago. I was pretty shocked when I saw it. It doesn't look anything like Dwayne Wade. This statue just ended up becoming one of the biggest memes over the last month or so. I've never actually looked at a statue before and thought it looked nothing like the person it was supposed to look like. Like this statue's ready for war. This guy is crazy. He wants to know if you want to take the red pill or the blue pill. All right, Ryan, we're absolutely thrilled to honor you with this statue outside of our hall today. Day. It will stand here for centuries so that everyone can know all the great work you did. Thank you, sir. This is absolutely an honor. I'm really grateful. I'm really looking forward to seeing what it looks like. Unveil the statue! <laughs> What am I, having a stroke? What are you talking about? It looks exactly like you. You're not having a stroke. Oh no, I'm, I'm having a stroke right there. It looks like I smell toast. It looks like the world is spinning. I need a paramedic, like, immediately. Here's what people have been saying about the Dwayne Wade statue. With all the technology we have, we're still making ugly statues. A statue looking like an old man yelling at some random kids in his lawn. They got my boy up there looking like one of Java's frozen prisoners shaking my head. That's not Wade. That's Lawrence Fishburne. That's not Dwayne Wade. That's Dwayne Wayne. It's gotten so bad that the inside the NBA guys had to talk about it. And in one of the weirdest coincidences of all time, what's that? We've all dressed as Dwayne Wade for Halloween. Are oh, you saying that the thing that, look, <laughs> yeah, that looks saying, like him? That does not look like him. It looks <laughs> like uh, it looks like an animated. <laughs> that like, does not. We look as much <laughs> like D as no, the, as the man, statue no, does. No. I'm gonna make him pull a statue down and do another one. Let's hope they do. No. The no, white guy did a great job no, on the statue. No, man. That's how that was bad. <laughs> the Cristiano Ronaldo. I remember that one. Yeah, that was different. That don't look like. No. Oh. Uh, social media been buzzing the last few days ever since this. Uh, but obviously a great a great honor for D Wade. It's a great but, honor, but they gotta take that thing down. No, no, no it was animated. No, no, not animated. If you made an animated face and then they made a bronze if statue. If you made an ugly statue, that's what it would look like. That thing's awful. He's making an animated face. Yeah. I know. It's a moment. That was after he saw the statue. 
got you right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the face he made after you saw that. Oh, one, of the best, one of the best reactions I saw was that, look, if you showed that to a thousand people and didn't say who had their, who just got a statue, would you ever say, oh, yeah, that's Dwayne Wade. I would have said Dwayne Wade making an animated face. Hey, you know, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey Kenny, the statue was so bad, they had to put all his stats behind it so you know who no, it was. Stop. Hey, shout out to the statue maker, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout, yeah. Out yeah. shout out to maker. the statue maker. You put all that time in it, y'all going to kill him. Get your education next time. Oh, oh, no, what makes this even funnier is that guys like Sylvester Stallone have gotten pretty good looking statues that look kind of just like him. I mean, at least it's pretty close. Even the Kobe Bryant statue looks pretty good. We have Abraham Lincoln's statue at the Lincoln Memorial that looks just like him. Elvis Presley got his own statue that looks really nice. A statue is something that's going to be there forever unless you like remove it and replace it with a different statue. It's not going anywhere. Millions of people are going to see this thing for decades and decades and decades to come. You think you'd want to get it perfect right? And these poor athletes time and time again are trying to hide their disappointment when they're at the live unveiling of their statue that looks nothing like them. You can tell D. Wade's looking at the statue and he's like, who the heck is this guy wearing my jersey? Legendary Miami Heat player Dwayne Wade. Does that look anything like him to you? Look at him, he's trying not to laugh right now. He knows that doesn't look anything like him. He knows it looks like crap. Everything else looks really good until you get to the head. His little girl's probably telling him, hey daddy, who is this? I thought we were honoring you today. The look on his face, man. Dwayne Wade has like a pretty recognizable face. I don't know how they got none of his features correct. Look, his face is so incorrect here. None of the features of his face say Dwayne Wade to me. I of course think the situation situation is absolutely hilarious, but I want to know your opinion. What do you think down in the comments below? Do you think they disrespected this man? If you're still here, thank you so much for watching to the end of today's video. Be sure to subscribe so you can become a skew like me. And if you want to watch more juicy content on my channel, check out the video or playlist down at the bottom of the screen because the YouTube algorithm thinks that you would love it. Other than that, a very big thank you for watching today's video. I will see you pretty soon in my next one. Until then, all I have left to say is bye-bye.